All right, so here we have a video of a guy by the name of Chance. Now, Chance had sent in this video to me last night. Uh, I'm getting caught up on these. I know we're getting near the end of the season, so I'm making a big push to get to as many of these as I possibly can. Uh, Chance is a discus thrower, and he's got some stuff going on. He's looking for some help. So let's take a look at this a few times just in sort of like a, uh, a real-time uh, fashion, if you want to call it that. Let's see what might be going on with Chance. All right, so right away we're going to take a look and see that Chance doesn't really do a good job getting across the circle. He's kind of landing, uh, he's over-rotating and still landing in the back half of the circle. Uh, it also looks like he's having a little bit of a hard time keeping weight on the right side. He's opening it up a little bit too early, and he's kind of throwing off his left foot. You see that how all his weight's on the left? He's really not doing a good job of getting around. So Chance has a lot of big things to work on. Uh, again, sometimes you see the big things look great, and it's a lot of little stuff to work on. Um, sometimes you see that there are some big things to work on, and sometimes the big things are going to make the biggest difference. So three big things I want Chance to work on here. The first is he needs to do a better job getting over his left. You can see he does a good job keeping this left arm nice and long and kind of using this left arm to get him out of the back. But you can see right here, he's kind of doing that thing where you start to peek down the circle a little bit too early. You start to turn your head and look down the circle, and instead of getting all of your weight and shifting your weight all the way onto your left foot to allow you to stay more balanced, to allow you to stay in better control in the back, and direct your your speed in the right direction, kind of does this thing where you, uh, let's see if I can get this moving here, so it's kind of a weird video. Yeah, there it goes. Kind of does this thing where he kind of peeks over his left shoulder, if you can see that there, and instead of getting his weight onto his left foot, see how he's kind of falling backwards into the circle. So if you were just to try to have chance, if you were just to try to stand in this position here, you would fall over. You would not be on balance. So we need to get more weight onto your left side so that you can be in a better position to drive out of the back. And that's something, again, you are you are throwing with the, the full rotation, the full spin at meets. That's where we are here. So we want to make sure that, you know, you work on the throw starting from the back of the circle. So really work on pivoting on that left foot, shifting your weight, getting over that left side, getting around your left. Um, there are multiple videos underneath this channel about you know the back of the circle if you just search the channel for the words back of circle you're gonna find so many videos with drills about how to pivot how to keep your balance how to shift your weight staying low left and long um, you know getting over your left side there's so many videos out there but that's gonna basically get you in a much better balanced stable position in the back and it's gonna allow you to actually drive into the front half of that circle so if you can imagine, it's tough to see here in the video, but if you can imagine that your circle here has sort of a front half and a back half. So you draw a line going from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock right across the circle. So you have a front half and a back half. So that tip of the cursor right here is probably the, the middle of the circle. Maybe it's camera moved a little bit. Maybe it's right there. You can see you're kind of landing in the back half. So if that's the middle, I want your foot to be pretty much where the cursor is right here, just inside the front half of that circle. But you're over rotating and landing in the left side. So what I want you to do, it's only going to help you, what I want you to do is when you get a better position on the left, we're going to hold this left knee and we're going to drive down the circle. We're going to actively sprint, explode, push, run, leap, whatever you want to tell yourself, prance across that circle. We're going to drive across the circle and your foot is going to land here, which is probably where it would be when you are warming up and doing standing throws. So wherever your right foot would be, if you were to do a standing throw, that's where I want your right foot to be, or where I want your right foot to land when you get to the midpoint of your throw here. So get that right foot up here somewhere instead of kind of looping it back over. And finally, what that's going to do is that's going to keep it, uh, or going to make it so that you can keep more weight on your right side. You can see here that left foot comes down. 
and you're already opened up, your weight is already shifted between your feet, you've got uh, the left arm already open, the head is already open, and you're just not throwing from a real powerful position. So I want you to work on keeping more weight on that right side instead of throwing the discus off your left foot. I want you to keep both feet on the ground, push the earth down, really push your feet down super hard, and try to um, you know, move that weight from behind your left leg. So we want your left arm all the way back. We want your head all the way back, your chest over that right knee. Get weight behind that right leg so that you can put that weight into the throw. So start working on things in that order. Better balance on the left and the back. Driving across the circle better. Keep it a little bit more linear as you drive across that circle. And then keeping that uh, weight on your right leg as you land in the power position so that you can push through the ground, deliver a lot more power, and get a lot more distance onto your throws. All right, so that's what I got for you. Thanks for sending in the video. Again, anybody else, if you do want to do a video analysis, I'm catching up on them pretty quickly. I'm a couple of days behind. Right now, it's usually about a week. I'm about three or four days back at this point. Um, so if you do have a video that you want me to take a look at, um, you know, just make sure it's good quality. Make sure it's easy to be seen. Make sure you're not taking a video from you know, 30 feet away. I can't tell anything from those videos. But if it's good video, if it's clear video, um, you know, if it's something that's got uh, something different I haven't done recently to help other people out, I'll do it for free. If you want a quicker answer in 24 to 48 hours, pay for a video analysis and you get the full detailed analysis, the voiceover, the email explaining everything to you, a specific uh, set of events to put in place to make these corrections, other links to other videos that are out there on YouTube that are going to help explain what's going on. The full detailed package, pay for it. If you want to just send one in and keep your fingers crossed, um, you know, I'm getting into them now, maybe in about uh, three, four days on average. All right, so good stuff, Chance. Keep working on what we talked about here. And uh, if anybody else has any questions, you can leave them down below this video in the comment section, and I will try to get back to them as quickly as I can.